Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Cooking Like Antonio. Today we're going to be making spaghetti carbonara, as uh, we saw Antonio Carluccio make on a video. Um, he says that most people get it wrong because they add cream or milk or they scramble the eggs. Well, we're going to do our best to get it right for Antonio today. So we've got the ingredients. We're going to give it our best shot. Um, so we are going to go over the ingredients for this recipe. Where's the tomato sauce? <laughs> there is no tomato oh, no sauce. no tomato sauce in this spaghetti. Okay, Absolutely not, no. Okay, so what we're doing while we go over the ingredients, we are bringing a big pot of water to a boil. Um, and then what you will need is 250 grams of spaghetti. We have two ounces of guanciale. Now, it wasn't that easy to find the guanciale where we live. Um, we ended up getting it from a little Italian deli. Um, you can use pancetta if you're not able to find guanciale. Then we have two ounces of pecorino cheese that has been grated and four egg yolks. So we went ahead and prepared everything um, just to save a little time. And you can see that the guanciale is diced into fairly small pieces mm -hmm. and yeah so we are going to get started so I'm not a very good whisker but I'm going to try to whisk the eggs I think something good is happening and that's looking good Tell me and that's then... sufficient Thing. That looks pretty good. And then we are going to add the grated pecorino cheese. So you can use parmesan, but the traditional way is using pecorino. We're going to go ahead and dump yep. that in now. We'll put dump. that in. Okay. And then we are going to give that a stir. probably a large part of the magic of what makes it creamy. Exactly. So without cream. Without cream. As Antonio said in his video, he said it's forbidden. Absolutely forbidden. Okay. And there really is no need for cream because once the cheese and the egg and the pasta water comes together, it does make a beautiful cream. So what do we think? And that looks good. Awesome. So just leave a spoon in there I suppose. Mm -hmm. And then we have, to the boiling water, we are going to add a generous amount of salt. Because that really is the only salt the pasta will get. So we put that in first. That goes in. Okay. And that did something to the water. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a, a chemical reaction of some yep. kind. Okay. And, and then, then we're going to... Add in uh, 250 grams of pasta, spaghetti, which we have right here. I used to break it back when I didn't know how to cook, and I still don't know how to cook, but I definitely know not to break it now. So we're going to wait until that sinks into the water a little bit, and the water comes back to a boil. And then we're going to cook it according to the package instructions or until it is al dente. So there's a reason he said al dente, isn't there? It helps to stick to the... Well, I think the, the, the starch in the pasta water is what makes it stick. I gotcha. um, That's why you don't rinse your pasta once it's okay. cooked. So the al dente was just his preference? The al dente is just that you don't want to overcook your pasta. Overcook the pasta. Yeah, you don't okay. want it soggy and soft. Okay, I got you. And there we go, the water is back boiling. Okay, so the now the pasta we... is cooking nicely. So we will set our timer for that to start cooking. And then the next step would be to start on the guanciale, which is going to be added to a cold skillet. We're not going to turn the skillet on and heat it up. Cheese in there. Okay. So, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> My hand is not burning. We believe you. Mm -hmm. And there's the guanciale. 
Again, it was not super easy to find, but we did find it. Yes, so we are going to cook the guanciale over a low heat. Um, we don't want it to burn. We just want it to crisp up slightly and render out the fat. Over a low heat, you said? Over low heat. Okay. I believe this is our first time trying the guanciale. Yes, previously we weren't able to find it, so we are quite excited to see what it's going to taste like. So our guanciale is starting to sizzle nicely. Um, you can see some of the fat is rendering out. So the recipe does say that if it doesn't produce enough fat for the recipe, for the sauce, um, you can add, add a little bit of good olive oil. So we'll see how it goes. So far it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. It looks like there's plenty in there, but we will if we have to. Mm -hmm. And the guanciale is smelling wonderful. Mm -hmm. So we have our guanciale that has cooled down just a touch. Our spaghetti is just about done. Mm -hmm. And the guanciale is pretty salty on its own, so we won't be adding any more salt to this recipe. Go ahead and shut this down and then talk me through this. Okay, so we are not going to turn the heat back on the skillet. Um, the heat from the pasta and the guanciale will cook the eggs. So now we are going to add the cooked pasta to the guanciale. This looks pretty good already, and we haven't even finished it. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so that's all the pasta, and then we are going to toss the pasta in the fat of the guanciale, just mix it nicely. Oh, wow. This already smells fantastic. And then once that is nice and mixed, we are going to season it with black pepper. What do you think? It looks good. And then we are also going to add about a ladle full or maybe less depending on how moist the pasta is. Yeah, I think we'll add a ladle of pasta water. skillet is too cold you can turn it back on if you need to just keep the heat low but it looks like we're, we're still doing seems pretty good. Yeah. fairly warm yeah yeah I don't know that I added too much but then again well, when once we add the eggs and the cream and the eggs and the cheese and mix it in there then it's going to it'll help add to the creaminess without cream without adding cream so when add the add. Go ahead. so when you um, add the egg and cheese mixture, um, go ahead and season with the black pepper. Um, you're going to have to work fairly quickly, um, stirring continuously. Otherwise, your eggs will scramble. And I like scrambled eggs, but not in our carbonara. Not in our pasta, no. Okay, I'm not sure that that's such a thing as too to much me. pepper. There is such a thing as too much pepper. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Okay, so we've got your two uh, spatulas there for stirring, and we've got our egg mixture. So we're going to go ahead and add that in, and then it's really just going to be a matter of keeping it moving. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. So we want to keep stirring that. Just toss it around like I did? Just keep stirring, okay. keep it going. And then you want to keep an eye on... You know how thick it is. If you need to add a little bit more pasta water, go ahead and do that. Um, the aim is to create a nice creamy sauce. 
and keep that's... it moving, like you said, so that we don't want the eggs to scramble. Yeah. It's looking delicious. It's looking very delicious. It's actually, it looks creamy as you can see. So, um, like I said, if you feel like it is not creating a cream, you can gradually add a little bit of pasta water at a time. Um, but ours is looking pretty good right now. I think this is starting to come together nicely. I'm going to try and get in closer so you can see how nice and creamy that is. That's oh, looking yes, great. It's, it's looking good. So it has to be my expert skills. <laughs> it has to be. So we are ready to plate it up. So we are going to take a small break and we'll show you the end result. Okay, we are ready to put our pasta into the bowl and then we are going to plate it up. Okay, see how we do here. That is very creamy. Mm. No question about it. So apparently Antonio, once again, was correct. You do not need cream. Okay. Now I guess the only step is to plate it up. Okay, and then we're going to do a taste test. Okay, so now we are going to attempt to try and make a nice pasta nest to serve it. This is not one of my strengths, but I'm going to do what we can here. And yep, you just use a ladle and tongs and give it a nice little twirl and put it on your plate. And that looks pretty good. Not bad for an amateur. Then a little more pepper. Just a little bit of pepper on top. And then we are going to add a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese. And you can use Pecorino if you want to. And there you go. And we are going to do a taste test. Do you want to go first? And that looks absolutely delicious. So, go ahead and... Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and give it a taste. That's the real test. And what's the verdict? I love it. Pretty good. How Excellent do you like stuff. The, what do you think of the guanciale? You know, I don't even. I'm going to let you know now. I don't think I actually had a piece of it. Hmm. Mm. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to try it as well. Trying to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of guanciale in there for you. Hmm. The guanciale is nice and got a nice crisp to it. Very, very delicious. It's a good thing you can't see me on camera right now because I have spaghetti all over my face. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because she does. <laughs> but there you go. But that is delicious and definitely something we will do again. I will hope that, or I would hope rather that this would get Antonio's approval. It should. It should. Okay, guys, until next time, we're saying goodbye. Enjoy.